Hey guys! Today I'm going to talk about the secret to perfect skin. Now, when I was in Korea, I made a first video about this topic, and if you haven't seen it yet, you can take a look at it. The link will be down below here. Now, I'm going to do a follow up about this uh, topic now. A few things about uh, skin, okay? Now, whatever blemishes that you get on your face, or whatever kind of symptoms that you have, uh, are a result of stress. Right? Now everyone says this, like the stress is the main cause. Okay? Now what kind of stress are we talking about? Right? Now the main types of stress are for example the diet. Right? So what do you eat? Right? If you eat a lot of uh, fatty food, sugary, cola, candy, all of these kinds of foods will uh, make your skin react. Uh, another one is sleep. If you don't get enough sleep, your body reacts. Okay? It's giving you a sign that's telling you, hey, something's wrong with me and I don't like what's, what you're doing to me right now, so this is how I'm going to alert you. Uh, another form of stress can be a result of the environment, right? If you have a, a room that doesn't have you know, proper air coming through, or you're living in a polluted environment like a big city with a lot of smog and a lot of secondhand smoke going around, Yes, these are all factors of stress. So the skin is a, a result of what your lifestyle is like. So the foods you eat, the sleep, um, irritations, right? How, how well do you cope with stress, right? From work or from daily life, your body will react. And thus, the pimples and the blemishes result uh, as a part of all the stress. Let's talk about skin doctors, right? now. Uh, the common conception of skin doctors is, oh, once I visit a skin doctor, my skin problems are finished, which is completely false. What skin doctors can do is they can relieve the, the surface problems, right? Whenever you have a pimple, they can pop it. Whenever you have like oily skin, they can smooth it out or dry it out with medicine or kinds of lasers. If you have rough skin, again, same thing, right? They can do whatever they can on the surface, but internally it is a lot harder to control for them, right? And this is where your lifestyle change comes into play. Uh, when I was in Korea, I drank a lot, a lot, a lot, and a lot of coffee, right? I used to drink four or five cups of coffee, and with those cups I would put lots of cream, put lots of sugar, and I would eat lots of candy, right? And I would drink a lot of Red Bull, Right? And this was all, these were all stimulants that would you know, rev me up, but as a result, my skin would burst into pimples everywhere, here, there, and everywhere. Also, I didn't sleep a lot, you know, you know I, I slept less than 8 hours, and as a result of that, I had a lot of pimples. I constantly had pimples on my forehead, and luckily for me, I, you know, I have long hair, so I can cover it. Let's talk about uh, uh, K-pop singers now. now let, I brought this analogy before in the first video, okay? Now, K-pop singers, right, they do not have perfect skin. Believe me, I've seen them up close and they are, their skin is, can be just as bad as you and I, right? Now, how do they treat their symptoms? Well, they go to the skin doctors regularly. I mean, like, weekly visits to the skin doctor. And what does the skin doctor do? The skin doctor can treat the, the outside surface, but, but what we do inside is up to you. Going back to my example, uh, right, I told you all these problems I had when I was in Korea, right? Drinking too much caffeine, not enough sleep, stressful environment, and all that. Well, when I came back to Vancouver, I made a lot of changes to my lifestyle. So, for example, I still drink coffee, but I don't drink coffee w with cream or sugar anymore. I drink a lot of water, I get enough sleep now, and the environment compared to Korea is not so polluted, so that's another result. And I eat a lot more vegetables and fresh fruits. As you can see, my skin is looking pretty good. You know, I have a few you know spots here or there, but before compared to Korea, it's a lot better. Now let's talk about uh, skin products now. Now the conception of skin products. Now from my personal point of view, all of them work and do not work. Now, I've asked uh, skin doctors this question before. I, I've asked. Oh, many many skin doctors. I said what's the best skin product uh, out there or what's the best one to you know for me right and they all say the same thing they all work and they all don't work now what does that mean they all work and they all don't work well 
technically they all do their job, right? They, you know, some of them are really cheap, some of them are really expensive, some of them have cheap ingredients, some are have really expensive ingredients, some promote anti-aging, some promote this or that or that, whatever, right? Whatever their gimmick is, right? Uh, in that case, they do their job. Does it feel good on your skin? Great. Does it smell good? Awesome, right? Uh, do I feel like there's a difference? Well, if it's, if it's for you, then yeah, great. But for me, personally, I find that none of them work. Now, when I say none of them work, I'm saying that none of them can substitute uh, what a lifestyle change can do. So, none of them can substitute getting enough sleep or substitute uh, eating healthy foods like fresh fruits and vegetables. They cannot substitute uh, how you handle with or cope with stress. When I was in Korea, I was a skin product freak, okay? So I, I used to buy every kind of brand out there. Whatever, right? Whatever that you saw in department stores or skin, skin shops, I, I, I would buy all of them, right? I, and I'd try them all out, even the, you know, I would take samples and all that. And I would try them on my face, you know, the toner, the essence, the cream, the night cream, the face masks. All of that. I, I've been through all of that. And I found that none of them really work compared to m what a lifestyle change can do. Right now, for example, I don't use anything. So right now on my skin, I don't use any moisturizer. I don't use any kind of cream or eye cream or whatever gimmick, right? No, none of that. And my skin is fine now. Seriously. What I do daily is just wash my face with cold water, cold tap water. That's it. Also, you know, if you put on all that stuff layer by layer, it can really, you know, you know, it feels really heavy, right? And to me, uh, I just let my skin breathe naturally. And that I'm fine now. And I don't really need to spend any more money, right? I do use a, like a clean, a cleanser, facial cleanser, and I do the, the facial scrub. If it's a little bit dry, then uh, I will probably add some like sun, sunscreen, but usually it, it doesn't really happen that often. You don't need to spend a ton of money on skin products or skin doctors or getting the, the latest elixir that, that can solve all your skin problems. The problem itself, it has to do internally, right, from within, right? And if you make these small little lifestyle changes, for example, getting enough sleep, drinking enough water, coping with stress better, you know, uh, having a positive outlook, you know, all of these things that can, you know, you know tolerate the stress, will affect your skin. Uh, for me, I find that that is the secret to perfect skin. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and hope you take in what you've learned. And please subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can see the, the links right above here uh, on either side. I'd really appreciate it. And in the future, uh, I'm going to make some more uh, videos about uh, this topic. Uh, plus, uh, you know, I'm a musician as well, so I will be making new music videos in the future, uh, which we are currently working on. So I'm very excited to show you these upcoming uh, projects that we have in store for you. Alright? But for now, take care, and uh, yeah.